Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me. You could see from the car and from the road that it is really dusty. It is because we are in the Hamatan season here in Ghana. All right, so uh, you can even wash your car and then it's get dirty within the next one hour, you know, depending on the road. So that is my car over there. It's dirty. So today is 10th of um, February 2023 and I came here in Asebu to give you an update of the new original road that is supposed to be constructed here in Asebu. Yes, so let's uh, big up the chief of Asebu, uh, Nana Amenfi the seventh. All right. Yes. So today being Saturday, I was like, hey, let me come up here and then just give you an update of what is going on. But to be very honest with you, because of the road and then the debt, I don't want to go that far. Already I am looking dirty. Yes, and my car is looking dirty. So I decided to just stay here and then give you an update of what is happening in Asebu. Currently, people are building, uh, people are, you know, raising their structures. Others, they are still waiting. I don't know what they are waiting for. I know they are preparing. They really want to, you know, get things going before they come out here and do what they have to do. I have also seen a video on YouTube that is not so okay with me. Okay, there's this brother, I think he's in Uganda, his name is Karwando or whatever. He's been making videos about Sebu saying that, I have heard someone saying they've given a free land. It means he's not even been here before. He doesn't have the fact, but he's saying what he thinks that he wants to say, which I feel is no good. Look, the idea is for the chief to just give you a place to lay your head when it comes to the motherland definitely there might be issues there will be people you know who will stand up and say hey i don't want you to touch my land uh i'm no more interested in giving up my land to the diaspora or this or this or that it is bound to happen but for some of us to you know carry everyday negative news out there what are we trying to achieve here at the end of the day you know this is this is an offer if you're not interested you stay wherever you are and you don't come and mess it up all right the chief says that i am giving you free land he termed it as free land it means that he's giving it to you but you will have to pay for um the other documentation and administrative costs and some few things look right now like i said they are constructing the road it's unfortunate that i can't drive through the debt uh but you can see that they've let me, let's go let's go close close the door Close it I'm really going to get dirty, but I'm just doing this for uh, my people who have land here in the city. So you realize that uh, most places that, uh, I mean, the road that has been constructed uh, has a white cloth, uh, you know, tied to, what do you call it? A stick, like over there. So this place wasn't like this before. This place wasn't like this. This is someone's building anyway. Okay, let's continue. All right, so this is uh, one of the roads that has been constructed. Like I said, it wasn't like this before, but now you, it is fresh. If you look on the ground, it is really fresh. It is something that they did. And I, I, I got this information from Byron. So Byron is um, it's a diaspora brother who has been living here for the past, let's say, 2019, when he saw my first video talking about this free land, and he's been supporting the Yasebo Pan-African Village, you know, with the uh, you know, administrative... Uh, activities and all that so he met me yesterday and said hey Echo, um we are constructing the new road and i was like okay then let me come the next day and then you know check them out but unfortunately i got here a little bit late he said i should come around nine o'clock but i was tired from yesterday you know we're partying and chilling so i go here it's almost 12 or one o'clock uh, yeah one o'clock 1 p.m and i think they are done for the day but as you can see the road has been constructed like i said every road that they are constructing now has a white stick. Let's go. Let me go and touch it. Yes. So this here is an indication that they are constructing a road okay and uh it goes all the way up there let me go back to what i was saying there's this brother 
on YouTube who is making nasty comments about Sebo Pan African Village. Like I said, if you think you are not interested, just stay somewhere else. Don't come here and be causing confusion and allowing people like Go Black Africa and that uh, Kerwanda dude, you know, posting negative videos saying that the, the, the locals are pulling guns on the diasporans and all that BS. You know, it doesn't make sense. Honestly, sometimes 2024 ongoing, we would have to face certain facts. We have to say things the way they are. All right. The chief is giving you a free land. If you're not interested, stay somewhere else. Let those who are interested come and then work it out. I've also heard that uh, a group of people are um, getting the services of a lawyer to look into the documentations that comes with the free land. Like really documentation saying that, um, example, they need free freehold or free lease. How can that be possible? You can't come from your country or from wherever you are to Ghana and then a gesture that someone is giving you, you want to come and tell them what they should do, change things to suit you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so if you're here or if you're making up your mind to relocate to Ghana, to Africa, anywhere, please don't come with that mentality. Leave that mentality behind. Two days ago, I picked a brother from um, the airport. That was his first time in Ghana. And he said, I am here with an open mind. I am here to learn. And honestly, he's been here for four days and we are wonderful. We are cool. We are moving on nicely. He's not been complaining. He's not saying this. He's not saying that. But some of you, yes, some of you will come and yeah, you're not happy with how things are going. Then stay there. Stay there. Nobody is like, is, is, is saying that don't come to Ghana or don't even suggest the best way of doing things. You can. But when you come with that mentality of you saying that okay you know everything all so then everything must be changed towards what you want that will never happen so this is just uh one of the videos that i want to bring you it's been a while that i came here because i'll be moving around a lot you know doing a lot for other people and it's not everything that i post on youtube you know we're doing building uh, project for a lot of people but if they don't ask me to put it on YouTube, I don't have to put it, all right? So uh, if you don't see me talk about Sebu much, or if you don't see me posting people building and all that, it is because that's their, uh, you know, that's their private thing. They want to keep you like that. You know, some people don't even want me to show their face or talk about them on my channel. It is good because they want to keep that thing. Maybe they want to, you know, get to a certain level before they will say, hey, Echo, don't worry, you can go ahead and post about whatever I'm doing. So um, thank you very much for checking me out. Uh, I know it's been a while that I came talking about Cebu Pan-African village. Yeah, there are a lot of people who are coming. A lot of people are coming. I've been getting messages just two days ago. Um, I got a fund received for someone who wants four plots. And Monday, I'm going to go to the Cebu Pan-African village, make payment quick, 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 and get that person's you know plot for the person and then i know a lot of people who are also contacting me hey echo i want to learn i want to learn i want to learn i am here to assist you with it okay i am not a builder no i don't build i am not a builder i've never built before but i have connections to builders so if you're interested after me assisting you purchase or get your land the free land from Asebu, yes i can connect you to some builders maybe you want to make me like an overseer like some other people do I oversee the thing that they do, you know, like, hey, uh, he said, do this way, do it this way, do it that way. Maybe make some videos, put some pictures, fly some drones. So I also took some drone shot of, I mean, the, the few places just around because like I said, I didn't want to go far. That is the second phase. The second phase is right over there. We are around first phase, right? Yeah. So Mr. Lynn and Auntie Moy's house and Auntie Karen's house is just like one minute away from me. So the second phase is that way but i didn't want to go there because it's dirt and i don't want to mess up myself already and uh, it's a beautiful saturday i'm gonna to go to the beach hangar with this guy who is <laughs> he's called richard yeah, so richard. richard when i'm not around when i'm not around i know some of you who have dealt with me you might know him when i'm not around or when i'm busy with work or anything he's my assistant yeah he's the person to go to so uh, don't worry when he holler at me and I'm like, hey, I'm not, I will not be available, but he will be available because, uh, and happily for me, whatever job that you give me, that is how come I get to pay him.
yeah and he's been chilling with it <laughs> <laughs> all right so thank you very much it's just an update of what is going on here by monday tuesday i hope that by next week um the those who are doing the road will come again i'll be invited i'll come and shoot a real video of them working here but the the, the, the proper road that is supposed to be laid in a has started I've, I've mentioned this earlier on the chief didn't have millions of dollars to start this project he is working with the support that you are coming with yes so the twelve hundred dollars that you pay these are some of the monies that they are putting together to construct the road i'm not sure the chief has asked anybody to pay some money to fix the road or to get the the lighting system here no it is the same amount so when you sit back and say it is not a free land it is not a free land come and get a free land free with nothing just come and stand here and say hey i've got in my land it is a free land and do what you want you know and do what you want anyway thank you very much for checking me out we're gonna leave go check out something else and uh we'll be back peace so this is another road that is being constructed you can see the the stick with the white thing on it right so this is just closer to uh anti carrying house so this is anti carrying house and this is the main road so there's there's a construction like i said ongoing 